Throughout history, people have struggled to solve the problem of healing difficult wounds. Although most wounds heal with time, some will not heal on their own, either because of the size or severity of the wound, or because of the underlying medical conditions, such as diabetes. Over the years, doctors and nurses have tried many techniques to treat these difficult wounds, including sutures, staples, and surgical procedures. But for many patients, these techniques simply do not work. Unfortunately, the consequences can be devastating, with untreatable wounds leading to amputations and even loss of life. In the late 1980s, a plastic surgeon, Dr. Lou Argenta, and a biomedical engineer, Dr. Michael Moriqua, built a laboratory at Wake Forest University in North Carolina to try and develop new ways of healing wounds. The doctors at Wake Forest tried and rejected many different ideas until they began experimenting with the use of negative pressure or vacuum to try to heal these chronic wounds. Different types of suction devices have been used throughout history to remove pus and fluid from wounds over a short period of time. But doctors Argenta and Moriqua had a different idea. They wanted to use vacuum pressure not merely to drain fluid from a wound, but rather to mechanically pull on the cells in a wound over a longer period of time to actually create new tissue growth. This had never been done before, and their colleagues were skeptical. But the doctors continued to experiment with different methods and devices until they had invented something that worked. And at that moment, they knew they had something with the potential to help a lot of other people. Wake Forest applied for and obtained several patents on the vacuum invention developed by doctors Argenta and Moriqua. And in 1993, KCI entered into a partnership with Wake Forest that would allow KCI to commercialize this new vacuum invention to make it available to patients around the world. KCI launched the first vacuum-assisted closure product in 1995 once I saw what it did, I was blown away. I'd been a nurse for 14 years when I saw VAC therapy for the first time, and I knew how slow wound healing typically was. When I saw the VAC the first, at the very first dressing change, it was stunning, the difference that that wound had made in 48 hours. The most memorable, there's been many dramatic patients where I've seen big turnaround, but the most memorable patient to me was a lady in her 50s who had been diabetic for quite a few years, had already had one leg amputated, and then had developed an ulcer on the other foot. And they wanted to amputate the leg, but they figured, well, we'll just give back therapy a try. So I followed her. We started back therapy in the hospital, and I followed her to the home. And when we DC'd the vac a period of time later, because the wound had healed, I was taking the vac away, and tears were running down her face. And I hugged her. I said, I'm going to miss you, too. And she goes, you don't know why I'm crying. I'm not crying because this is healed. I'm crying because if I'd known you two years ago, I'd still have both of my feet. In 2004, doctors at Harvard and MIT referred to the vac as a revolutionary technology that has changed the way medicine is practiced at their institutions. And military surgeons have said that VAC has revolutionized the treatment of war wounds. Now there are more than 550 peer-reviewed articles demonstrating the efficacy of VAC. More importantly, more than three million patients around the world have benefited from this new technology. Other companies have tried to imitate VAC, but only KCI has more than 10 years of experience and clinical research from treating patients with this innovative therapy, and a research and development team that includes more than 20 PhD researchers dedicated to improving patients' lives. And the innovation continues at KCI as we use our VAC experience as a springboard for development of new products and technologies to help more patients around the globe today and in the years to come. I think what VAC therapy does more than anything is it gives our patients hope. When you have a large wound, a traumatic injury or a big infection after surgery, or you've had a wound for a long time, you can feel very overwhelmed and like there's no hope. You're never going to get better. And I think what back therapy has done is given our patients as well as our clinicians hope that this wound can be resolved. I can make a difference. And I think that's been the biggest change and, and something that as a company we're clinically focused. We talk a lot about the clinical advantage and I think that comes from the heart.